Hey guys, so this came out of complete nowhere. I like just found out not too long ago how I found out I was actually on a jog around my neighborhood and I had my phone with me. I was jogging to music on my iPod. I, I had my phone, you know, just in case if somebody needed something important, like I don't know, a family member needed something or a friend, whatever. So, I was going pretty fast, and then I got a, a little bit exhausted. So I thought, hey, take a break. Take like a few second break, just to see if anybody tried to contact you. I saw that I had a Facebook message from Brandon Devour. He sent me a Facebook message saying that Brandon Lee has passed. At first, I thought that Brandon Devour was full of crap. Not to sound insensitive, but it was because uh, he has played so many pranks on me before. And I said, okay, Brandon, if you are if you are joking about this, I'm going to be so mad at you. Which you guys can probably understand why I would be pretty pissed off about that. And, and then he said, I am, I am serious. I'm like, are you absolutely for sure? So I thought, you know... Just to make sure, go on Brandon Lee's Facebook page and find out. I went on the Facebook and I unfortunately found out that I was right. I was shocked. Still am. So, after I found out, I sat down on this little bench thing and I posted a status saying, that I'm just so lost with words right now. This came out of complete left field. Um, how him and I started our friendship. The origin of that is that we both have a mutual love for horror movies. Speaking of that, I'm wearing my cycle shirt, a tank top, as you can obviously tell. I said that because him and I both loved the Psycho movies, and I just feel like that I should wear this in memory of him. And I, I said, he was a very, very intelligent man. Man, he was one of the smartest, one of the smartest people I have ever met. We disagreed about a few things. And one of the things that I loved about him was that there are some horror movies out there that get so much hate, that are notorious for their hate, like the Psycho remake, and Halloween Resurrection, Halloween 5, and yeah. Even the Nightmare on Elm Street remake. Brandon, he did not care if his opinion was the popular one. And when he would defend his opinion, he would not be disrespectful about it. And personally, I don't like Halloween Resurrection. I don't like uh, the Psycho remake and, and all that. It, 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 the reason why I don't like them is not because that they are, you know, it's the popular opinion to have to hate them. It's just, they just were not my cup of tea. But Brandon, he would defend them and he would defend them good. Regardless if I agreed or not. He would not force any of his opinions down my throat. Because there was a guy before who tried forcing Halloween Resurrection down my throat and that only pissed me off. But Brandon, man, when he said this, he, he gained my Respect. He said, okay, Eric, that's fine. I hope that someday that you can like Halloween Resurrection. Still to this day, honestly, it's not to be disrespectful to him. I just honestly just don't think I ever will like that movie. But now when I watch it, I'm going to think of him. When I watch any horror movie now, I'm it's just... I have dealt with death before, 
And I'm not trying to sound insensitive, but because of all my experience with it, I know what I should do and what I should not do. But that doesn't mean that I should not grieve about it. I'm just... Still just trying to think of things to say. I know this video is going to be entirely unscripted, but you know what? So be it. I'm speaking from my heart. Apparently what happened, just from my understanding, it was an accident. Apparently a car accident. I don't know. That's just what I've heard. But yeah, it's just... You know, he was so young, and I sensed that he could have been a movie critic, or he could have worked at horror conventions. He, he even could have been a horror filmmaker. He had such a strong passion about it. I mean, he had such a passion. Every day when I logged on Facebook, I would see that he posted in all these horror groups saying all of his in intelligent opinions about all those movies. There's even one day when he posted about the Slumber Party Massacre, such an underrated movie, and then after when he posted about it, he actually got me in the mood to watch, and I said, hey man, thanks. He said a lot of nice things about me. He said that he thinks that I'm a fantastic person, that I'm such a nice guy. He said nothing but good things about me. But man, that guy had some guts to... Not to be rude, I mean it is his opinions and all, but man, he had guts to... to defend the Psycho remake and Halloween Resurrection. I mean, it is what he enjoys... But man, he had guts. And that's one of the things that I loved about him. He did not care. He would state his opinion. And the most important thing was he was respectful about it. Now, uh, you know, I just want to pop in, I don't know, a Freddy movie or a Psycho movie or a Halloween movie. Just any of them. Just for his memory. And, you know, at least he's in a better place. Rest in peace, Brandon. I'll miss you, man. All those horror pages on Facebook are going to be so different without you, man. I hope your family and f friends, your Facebook friends, any real life friends are going to be okay. They will be in my thoughts and they will all be in my prayers. Rest in peace, Brandon. I'll miss you, man.